Whoa, hey, are you okay? Man, you took a little bit of a tumble there. I'm sorry about that. My wooloo can get a little bit rambunctious at times. <laughs> hey, you look familiar. Oh, wait a minute. I do recognize you. You're the new Pokemon trainer be assigned to the Pokemon League. Yeah. Yeah, B told me all about you. Oh, sorry. I should introduce myself. My name is Milo. It's good to meet you. Yeah, I'm the grass gym leader. <laughs> yeah, and, um, you stumble upon my Wulu farm. <laughs> as you can see, my Wulu can be a little bit rambunctious as well as over, overly excited. But don't get me wrong, they're not wild animals. They are well trained. After all, I've trained them myself. Mm -hmm. Some in consideration that I took them in as adoptees and others I'm looking after for other trainers. You could say it's somewhat of an adoption center and a uh, daycare for some Pokemon trainers. But nonetheless, this is still my homeland. And my house is not that far away from here. Just down that path. Mm-hmm. Well, let me help you up, at least. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do work out occasionally, but yeah, I, I don't really like to show off that much. <laughs> Oh, a lot of people find me intimidating at first, but once that people get to know me, then they'll figure out I'm more of a gentle person than anything. I don't like to cause harm on anyone. That's why I like to take it easy on the first opponents that people come in to challenge me for their first gym badge. As so, I am the first gym leader they will fight in the Pokemon League. I don't like to go hard on them because I want to make them to experience a true Pokemon battle without the rough consequences. Mm hmm. And I see that you've gotten your first Pokemon as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a good Pokemon. You'd probably beat my Pokemon. Because you did pick that typing of Pokemon, it would most likely defeat mine really easily, since I am a grass-type Pokemon. Trainer. Mm -hmm. Well, with Pokemon typings, fire usually beats grass. So... Yeah, you would definitely overcome my gym pretty easily with that Pokemon. <laughs> well, I mean, the starter Pokemon are pretty rare to come upon nowadays, especially with all this weird energy in the air nowadays. And not much Pokemon trainers can go out and train well, when they usually have to train, they have to put on these weird masks now, just so the polluted air doesn't really get into their lungs. But for me, I live outside the pollution, or the polluted areas, so I think I'm fine. Although a lot more poison-type Pokemon have been showing up recently, but I take care of them with ease. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, nonetheless, you gotta be careful out there, okay? Especially with wild Pokemon. 
Nowadays, I have no idea what their intentions are, especially with all this toxin in the air. I don't know if this is like a evil team's doing and or an evil dictator's doing, but I don't like the way the clouds form some days. They remind me of a spiral in the air. I don't know what it is, but it just gives me a really wrong feeling. Like something bad's going to happen soon. Mm. But, um, here. I, I'll give you this just in case something does bad happen to your Pokemon. It's a full max uh, healer. You give it to your Pokemon and they regain all their HP. And the matter of fact here, have a poison repel as well. Because God forbid if any poison Pokemon poison your, your Pokemon, well, I'm afraid that to say that the nearest Poke Center is a few miles out and I don't know how badly injured your Pokemon's going to be. So just in case, Take those two things with you. <laughs> well, of course. I try to be as nice as I can. Oh, thank you. I try to work on my farmlands as often as I can. You know, to fight off all the random poison ghost types that come around here. And also just to keep my crops growing as well. It brings a smile on my face, and it keeps all the wooloo I have happy. Especially when I cook them some really good food. They enjoy my cooking a lot. Well, it's mostly curries, but they still enjoy it. <laughs> all right, all right, calm down. You see what I mean when they get a little rambunctious? <laughs> Oh, I think they're just hungry again. But there's nothing to worry about there. I'll feed them soon, and they know that their feeding time is in about a few minutes here. So they have to behave. <laughs> Although sometimes I like to bring them a little bit of snacks before their meal time, because it usually fills their stomach a little bit, but also keeps enough room for them to eat their dinners. Mm. Ah, yes. The sun is getting a little bit darker now. It means it's getting a little bit t towards nighttime. You should be heading home. I know a lot more dark-type Pokemon show up at night. And it's not very safe to be out in the open. Especially if you have to cross the woods to get out of my, uh... Well, not get out, but... Sorry, that sounded rude. To leave my farmlands, you have to go through the woods there, and a lot of dark type Pokemon come out at night. And I'm not sure if they're really strong or not, but nonetheless, you might as well get going now so you don't run into as many. <laughs> well, of course, it was my pleasure to meet you. And also, tell B I said hi. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but like, tell her I missed her, and we should hang out some more. And hey, maybe she'll bring you along as well. <laughs> All right, well, it was nice talking to you. Hmm? Oh, you want to add my Pokemon to the Pokedex you have? Oh. <laughs> well, sure. Here. Just point your Pokedex at my Pokemon and it will scan it. And it will easily just add into your Pokedex. <laughs> well, 
It was nice talking to you. And don't forget to tell B that I said hi and maybe we can have dinner together. You, I, and B. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a safe travel now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll bring your dinner now. 